Hey guys, uh, just a quick video here showing you how to upload your content that, or the work that you've done onto the OneNote page. Um, you'll notice here on my um, screen, I've got just a blank OneNote, an example notebook that I've made just for this example. And Mr. McGlynn is the only student in this class at this point in time, because I want it to reflect what it's gonna look like on your end. So when you open up a OneNote, you'll have the collaboration space at the top, you also have the content library, and this is where typically I would have all of the OneNotes that I've created for our classes. And you've also got your very own personal notebook. Now, no other students can see this, it's just for you. And I can also see every student's ones of these. So this is the section with, with your name that I want you to be uploading your work. So to start with, let's call it something um, practical that we can um, easily understand and that's nice and intuitive. So on that yellow new section one, I wanna click and hold that with my finger on my iPad and down the bottom, bottom left hand corner, there's a little pencil icon. I wanna click that pencil icon and click rename. Um, it'll give me the option to rename it now. I'm gonna call this term two digital learning perhaps. And if I move across one column now, um, you'll notice, oh, so I think move this way one column, um, I have my pages in this section. So right now I have an untitled page. But if I click in here at the very top left, um, just above the word Monday, I can call that whatever I want. And I'm gonna call this one week one because I wanna be able to post a picture of all the content I've um, done in my workbook um, in week one. So in this section, I'm going to now navigate to my homepage. I'm gonna click camera. I'm gonna open up my camera. Um, and I've just got a blank document here, but this is where you would take a picture of the actual work that you've done. So I'm gonna click take a picture. Go back to my OneNote page here, and if you click the Insert tab up the top ribbon on your OneNote, you'll see on the ribbon just below it, you've got Table, Pictures, Camera, Audio, etc., etc. I'm just going to go Pictures, and I'm going to go Recents, and I'm going to click the most recent picture that I've taken and click Done. Okay, click done again, and it's going to insert that picture. You'll also notice that there's probably an easier way. Uh, if you just click Camera that's on that roll right now, if you click camera, it'll open up the camera. And if you take a picture, bang, like that, and click done, it'll automatically insert it like that. That's probably easier rather than going to your camera roll, actually. So um, I'm glad I found that as well because hopefully that's going to be more useful for you. Um, so you'll notice that I've inserted the work. Maybe I want to insert a quick caption. I'll say week one, Monday, questions, one to five, something like that. Maybe we'll say exercise 7E or whatever exercise that I'm working on in the textbook, um, just so that I understand what it is. And when you want to go back and understand what uh, work you've done, you can find it easily with your caption as well. So just make sure you do that by Wednesday, 2 p.m. for year eight and nine. Um, this is the time that I'm going to be marking whether you're present or not. So if you haven't engaged with me at all, whether it's by email or via OneNote. If you haven't talked to me at all and you haven't provided any evidence of your work, you're gonna be marked as absent, even if you've done work. So just make sure that if you've done the work, upload it to your own personal OneNote page so I can mark you present and um, actually keep track of how you're going. All right, see you guys.